into uh, just a, sort of a technical warm up. And you're going to be, my goal is to keep you busy the entire time. So everyone is switched on the entire time, which means uh, we've got to be careful, or I've got to be careful and make sure that you don't get uh, too out of breath, if you like. It's not sp it's supposed to be mentally challenging and also it will eventually be physically challenging. Okay, so enjoy it. It's going to be a ton of decisions. All right, uh, if you don't understand anything, please ask. All right, so <laughs> let's do this. Coaches, we're going to start, we're going to stay in just this area the entire session. Again, when you think about your training environment, sometimes you're given just the 18 yard box, all right, maybe a little bit more. So we stretch it to about 25 yards, and that's the maximum that we're going to use. My goal, as I said, is to keep these goalkeepers busy pretty much for the entire time and keep them switched on. So again, looking at the rhythm of the game and what we need to do, goalkeepers touch the ball seven more times with the feet than they do with the hands. So that's where we're going to start. All right, so here's what I need. Three goalkeepers that side of the mannequins, three goalkeepers this side. You need one person up at the mannequins and two people at the back. We're starting off straight away playing balls and making decisions. The ball must go into this central person. So I play into Tanner. Tanner's gonna play off to whoever it might be, myself or Serena, no, no. All right, so you play either one of us, okay? As that ball travels there, you've gotta make yourself available. The back two people make themselves available, okay? So you can play that ball down the channel there, into the middle. Out to, you can play it back or out to the other side. So now you've got to find a way to play a ball through. So is this a realistic pathway? No, so what might you do? Yeah, show in there. Okay, here's a little caveat, here's a little twist. Once you play that ball back and that ball comes through, you have to switch positions. So you can't be there the whole time. You can't be there the whole time. Okay, any questions? Yeah. yeah. Just give me yeah. a minute. He's just giving me a thought for another exercise though. That's quite good. Yeah, there you go, yes. Good, find it. I got it. Yeah, inside. Yeah. Right foot. Yeah, ball. Okay, so hold on one second, because we've already hit two of our mannequins, and uh, that one's already a little bit deflated. When we get the ball here, pass me the ball. When that ball comes back, if we put the ball in front of our bodies, we are limited in the type of pass that we can take. All right? I don't like to see our goalkeepers stop the ball very often. So as that ball comes in, just play me a ball, please. No, no, yep. Can we take that touch into space? So now I'm moving on and now I can play because now my next movement is what? No, no, think about the game. Yeah, support. Okay, so play, take a touch, a moving touch, play it. And then because we have movement in here, it might be a supporting movement. Okay, here we go, play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Good and hold and hold it there. All right, pretty good, right, coaches? We've connected all the passes, yes, would you agree? All right, so, but we're also playing very safe. Okay, so here's one thing that I want you to think about. All right, if the ball comes here, all right, I want one of you to show short, so that means you're gonna come close, relatively close, and one of you be a longer option. So we've got this showing here. Now, if I play that ball there, all right, and you've opened up a little bit, your first pass now has to be what? Yeah, so now you're dealing with a different type of pass, so you've got to play that ball in there, and then you've got to do what? Yeah, you've got to create space for yourself. Okay, so now let's try and get one short and one long, if possible, if it's on to do it, all right? And I want these two in the middle. When you're in the middle, can we play one touch? Can you play one touch? Here. Yeah. 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 In, yeah, yeah. back. One short, one long. Here. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good, all right, yeah, yes, yes. One short, one long. Here, three. Yeah, ball. Yeah, Tanner. Push now. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well done, you saved that one. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 Ten seconds. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Cross top, check it down. Good. Yes. No, no. Yeah, push it, push it. Yeah. It's a hustle, push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One short, one long. Yeah. Good. And hold. Stop there. Stop there. Okay, so now you're responding to the movement of different players. So if you've got the ball there and Tanner goes up, go ahead. I've got to read that and now I've got to change my angle because we don't want to have two players when we play the game. We don't want to have two players making the same run. Okay, so now we've got depth and we give ourselves a little bit more options to play, right? So you can play a short ball, you can play a long ball. So it's very, very easy, right? Now, here's the challenge. The turf is pretty fast. So I want you to bear that in, in mind as we play. One touch all the way across the field, right? One touch. So I want you to imagine that you're under pressure. So now, let, let me be you just a little bit taller. Okay, so once that ball has gone in there, if you play me a ball back, okay, I might have to drop off before I play. If you leave it short, if she leaves it short for me, I might have to move on to it. Okay, so start to think about how do I buy myself some more time? Or it's a snowball, I've got to move on to it and play. Okay, let's go. One touch, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Here, here. Yeah. 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 Center. Center. Yeah. Okay. Keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go, come on, pick it up! Faster, yeah. faster, 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 come on! Yeah, next ball, get a ball in, here we go, play, 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 come on, faster, yeah, on the ball! Here we go, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. keep it in bounds, keep it in bounds, come on, play, faster, move, 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 stop! What happened? Uh, we got a lot more chaotic. Yeah, so as I did that on purpose, right, that's not my coaching style at all. I said to them, I'm going to start, I'm going to get in there and change my voice and see what happens. As coaches, we try to elicit a response from our players with our voice. So, as that ball's going into you, come on, come on, come on! Well, there's an echo around here. Oh, right, so, as that ball has gone in and I'm yelling and screaming as a coach, all that does is makes, makes you frazzled, right? There's a lot of things going on in your mind. So as a goalkeeper, all right, in whatever environment it is, if a coach is yelling at you, if the coach is constantly barking orders, you've got to have a filter, okay? So what I was trying to do is force you to play quickly, force, like almost get in your face a little bit to do it and see what happened. The first ball that we have goes out of bounds, okay? So in here, in here, regardless of what's going on, I want you to stay calm, and be composed and connect a pass, all right? Yep. Noah? Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, Tanner. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Good. Good. Okay, yes. Yeah. Push it, push it, push it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top, top, yes. No, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Yeah, Tanner. CJ, top, CJ, top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll go left, I'll go left. Yes. Yeah, take me. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sure. 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 Yeah, in here, because you're not necessarily under a lot of pressure, you're able to get away with playing with your dominant foot most of the time. Okay, so in here now, if the ball comes to your left foot, I want you to play left footed. So dance around it and then go back in that direction. Keep your body open and be brave enough to play with the left foot. If it breaks down, it breaks down. So, and here's the other thing for me, because we're not perfect and we will always make mistakes. If I do this, and hit the mannequin, just move on to it and play that ball in again. Okay, so if you make a mistake, just fix it. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, no, we won't, won't go left foot only. Ready? If it comes to your left, play with your left. Do go. Use the ball. Yeah, sure. Yeah, Paul. Yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yes, 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 One short, yeah, one long. Yeah, yeah. One short. Yeah, one short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One short. Yeah, yeah. One short. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, be brave, be brave. Good, good little touch. Yeah, sure. 
Jack. Grab another one. Next one, next one. Last 20 seconds. Two left. Last 20 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ball, ball. Yeah, he'll touch. Good. Play through. Get him. Get him. Get him. This is your one. This is side. Yeah. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Hand stop. Hold it there. All right. So, coaches, from here, from here, one thing that I would do, well, let me ask you, how would you progress this? To add variety. Pressure? Pretend, yeah, we might add, a pre I might add pressure. For, in order to do that, we'd need pinnies, right? So that, that would mean that when that ball came over, one person could come over, maybe, yeah, pressure. What else? What else? Could, what to add, add a variety, what's that? I change the way they're positioned. To have what? Maybe have someone central or two up high. Um, or, or could you adapt the environment? We could shrink it. Could shrink it, or we could. Make it expand it. Yeah. yeah, or taking what you said, all right, and taking what you said and say, change the environment. We could have someone at the back here. All right, so now, again, one goes short, one could be in, one could be out. So you can only ever have two people inside this area, one must be behind the line, and now my pass might be what? Yeah, it might be just a little clip over the top. So just a thought to how you might adapt the environment depending on what you wanted to work on. Right, so if we wanted to play, so this is, this is uh, 24 yards or 24 of my big steps from here to there, okay? If we wanted to work on that little clips ball, which is 30 yards, yeah, we might go from here to beyond the circle there. Right, so just a thought for you. Can I ask you to... So two goalkeepers in here, two goalkeepers in here. So we've got three on each side. So one server, two in. One server, two in. Awesome, right? Right, so just very simple, little technical movement. Right, you are going to run the exercise. So you're going to just going to start here, slide out, you'll play a low ball. You're not smashing it, so you don't need to run up. Okay, just a low ball in here, roll it back and then a little jog across to the other side. You're doing the same thing at the same time. This side will always go in front and go around. This side will always come across behind. Okay, ready, here we go. Quality, yep. Start to the post, little turn in. Start to the post, little turn in. There you go, that's better, little turn. Just a little adjustment. Good, yeah. And hold it there. So you're now going to be this side of the ball, serving from here. So again, we're now eight yards away. Your service is going to be different, but goalkeepers make the appropriate save. Okay, so whatever the save is. So now, actually, we're going to start off the goal line here. It's just going to be a pivot in to take a position to where you feel comfortable. Okay, it might be higher, it might be a little bit lower. I want you to try and clip the ball into the hands. All right, we're not trying to beat anyone. It's just a clip into the hand. So find a shape that works for you. Make the appropriate save. If it comes high, catch. If it's going over, make it intentional and put it over. If it's a low ball save, make the appropriate save. Okay, ready? Start higher, come higher. So as this is going on, coaches, take a look at body shape. Take a look at preparation in the body. Obviously the technical execution and massive for me is the eyes. Watching that ball all the way in. Good, great service by the way. Love it. Yep. Good hands. So I'm going to start with a variety of balls, but no diamond. Thank you. So I'll play it low, play it medium, whatever you want. Yeah. We got a couple more each. Good hands. Good. Good, well done. Good. Last one each. Last save each. Good. Yeah. Well done. Last one each. Yep. Yeah. Pretty sharp. Yes, good hands. Good, and relax. Hold it there. Okay. Coaches, uh, give it give me some of your thoughts. 
What else? From the goalkeepers. Yes. Yeah. So and that and that's something that we all have to be aware of and open to. There are different hand positions. The one thing that I would say, I forgot your first name. Jason. J JC, right? Jason. Jason. Alright, so Jason, if you watch Jason, his right hand goes higher than his left hand. Which for me would be a problem. You actually go here. Right? Because now that means that if both hands have to go, one hand is going to be lower than the other. So can we even that out? So I might ask him to try and be aware of that. So now let's move the balls back. So we're going to have to move that bench again. Right, let's move the balls back to the side there. Again. So again, I'm not worried about the speed. The server is not going to go. The server is not going to go until you're ready. Okay, so now we start here. You're starting up high. It's dropped down in. And now it's a collapse dive on this side. Okay, so you're playing a clap side. If you see that they're leaning and cheating, put it back in here. All right, so get in, find your shape, little clap dive. Same thing in here. It's the first time we're hitting the ground, so we're not smashing the ball. It's a little turn in there, and then a little clap dive. Okay, ready? Do you prefer a touch to the post or just... Don't touch the post. Post bites. Ready? Here we go, yeah. So again, coaches take a look at the environment. Yeah. You've got six goalkeepers. You've even got a little bit of leadership okay, over there. All right. Go. Look at the body shapes. Yeah, point and cheat in. Go. And hold it there. Stop. Okay. I was going to stop on that one anyway. All right, so, for me, composure is a massive element of goalkeeping. All right? For some goalkeepers, goalkeeping is effort, effort, effort. And what I mean by that is effort to get there. All right, we're bouncing here, there's effort here, and then effort to save. We never find that moment of composure. So in here, there's effort to get there, composure when we get here, and then we can be loose and make that save. So effort, composure, effort. Right, so when we get in, we shouldn't see this right get across loose and then we go the movement flows okay switch the service Tana uh, how close is that ball coming from all right so relatively close so what that should do is that should affect your body shape and it should affect the position of your hands so if you if you come into here if you turn in and your hands are here close to the body or even here like this you hands like this okay if before if our hands are tight here i'm always going to be slow going down and i'll always end up reaching backwards right so can we from here get the hands wider so now at least my hand is already out there just try it see play with it ready here we go yeah Get there, set. Let them yeah, get go. there and set. Let them set. Good. Just a little pause. Yeah. Yep. Okay, go. Good. And relax. Hold it there. Hold it there. Okay, so now let's have a different person out there, please. So very, very, very simple. And we're going to build into something as we go. But I want to make sure that they've seen a variety of saves. Okay, so one person is working. You're going to do three reps. Okay, three reps. And then we'll rotate through. Right, so very simple. All I want you to do is come out in here. All right, and all I want you to do is just play the ball off them. You're not making any real type of save. Your body is there. Use your hands, use your feet, whatever you like. Make the save, drop in, and then we're making a collapse dive. Okay, got it? Ready, play, here we go. Good, drop in. Good, good save, so relax, take your time. Good, yes. 
Yes, good touch. Good. Right, hold. Let's just do two. All right, so a collapse. As we go, we make this safe. As you go, I'd love to see your eyes follow your hand as you're diving. Okay, you actually got a great touch because the ball had pace, but your eyes stayed there as the ball went out off your hand. So you didn't know whether there was a forward here who was going to run and smash it in or your defender was going to clear it. Okay, so watch that ball come off your hand. Ready? Yes. Okay, let them get there. Let's do one more. Let them get across and set before we play that clap. Ready? Yeah. Good. Go on. Yeah. Good. Rotate. Here we go. Get close, get close, get close. Yes. Yeah. Good. Again, if they cheat, put it in the other side. On the sides there. Good. Take away that space. Find a way, find a way, whichever you like, to take away that space between the legs. Good, yeah, yeah. Good, well done. Good touch. And hold, switch sides. Switch sides. Good, yeah, I like it. Yeah. Last round. Good. Excellent. Good speed. Good touch. See it. Come on. Good. Yeah. Watch it. Watch it. Good. Excellent. And hold. And relax. Just take a moment to get something to drink, whatever you need. So, ball can go in. But I'll start with the ball. Okay? Ball will go into you. Touch, shot, any direction. All three goalkeepers alive. If you give a rebound here, I can shoot there, there, or there. If the rebound goes over there, you can shoot on any goal you like. Okay, the ball is done. The ball is done when it's in your hands. All right, and you can distribute to any of the three points. All right, so you make a save, distribute to any of the three points, we start again. All right, Tanner, any goal you like, we're all three of us alive. Ready, here we go, yeah. Yes, right. Good. Well done. Distribution. Good. Turn in. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yep. Right. Right. Good save. Good. Still alive. Yep. Offside there. Okay, so again, that sequence there is how it can happen. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Right. Oh, Got to be ready. You ready? Here we go. Yeah. Yep. Up. Ball from there. Sorry. Ball there. Yes. Right. Get across. Get across. Yep. Yep. Great save. Yep. Ball there. Get across the goal. Yep, ball here. Great save, fight. Yep, ball there. Yep, yeah, up, yes. Good save. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Give him time to get across. So in this round, in this round, so here's a little adaptation if you like, we can immediately shoot here or here, okay? So when you've got the ball there, when you're the one playing the ball in, you can drive it straight to the goal, doesn't have to go into the middle. Okay, ready? Well, you can play one touch, two touch, or you can even dribble at them, whatever you like. After you make that save, you're the king here. Ready? Here we go. Yeah. Get 
across, yes, go. Wait, wait. Same. Yeah, four hits. Ready? Yes. Both of you respond. The same. Yes. Well, hold on. Try to keep your shoulders up. Yep. Other side. Yeah. Same. One. Yes, one it. One it. Oh, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Good. And hold. Good. Excellent. Rotate. Three out, three in. Different person in the middle. So larger space, more time. All right, and then let's bring it closer, shorter space, less time. So what does that do to your movements now in, in goal? So what does it do to your movements? Because it's smaller. Stay compact. Yeah, you've got to be compact as movements have to be smaller and quicker. Before, because I'm passing from here and it was going into the middle, you had time almost to get across, relax, get yourself composed, and then make a decision. That time is gone now. Okay. How does this? How does this impact your body shape in the goal? Hands, yeah, hands have to be off the body. What else? Yeah, maybe a fraction lower. Excellent. Ready? Let's see what happens. Ready? Yes. Oh, USC. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on there? Here we go. Let's start again. Ready? Be ready. Yes. Yeah. Good. And a little roll. Yes. Roll. Yep. Get across the goal. Get across the goal. Go next. Go in the same order. Yep. Yeah. Play. Good. Coming from Tana. Oh yes. Well covered. Yep. From me. Yep. Oh, it's a back pass. Yeah. Go on. Oh, heads up. Yep. Tana. Okay, so these mannequins are in a really awkward position. I'm just going to move this one a little further out. Okay, they're in a really awkward position. But when that ball comes into him, because now the distance is, what should all three of you do automatically? What's that? Yeah, yeah, once that ball comes in, all three of you should try and get closer. Okay, because he can go to any goal. Ready? See it, yeah, go. Closer, yeah. Over there, yeah. Good, play. Great save, Tanner. Well, hold on, hold on, Tanner, let it go across there. Let it go across, <laughs> Let the goalkeeper get there, yeah. Step up. Ball from me. Don't be human, ready? Stay square to me, keep that shoulder, your left shoulder, yeah, yeah. Same thing with your right shoulder. Here we go, yeah. Yeah, go on. They say, oh, hold the goal. Hey, hold yes, on. Okay, yes. hold on one second. And stop, stop, pull back. Love that. So you, you stayed back just for a second and now you, yeah. Right? So, but that was a free tattoo, that's okay. <laughs> Woo! Represent. Yep, let's go for me. Ready? Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Last round. Yep. Great save. See it. See it. Yep. Over there. Yeah, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Let them get there. Let them get to the post. Yes, play. Love that. Play time. Ready? Yeah. Good save. Play. Love it. Good, stop, switch. Excellent. So again, we'll go in the same order, there, there, and then there. But again, let them, goalkeepers, let them get to that post before you serve. Okay, ready? Here we go, yeah. Good touch, drop, up, one, two, get that side. Everyone, wait, 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 stand there, yes. Hold on, again, let them get set. Start in here, start in here. Let them get set, yeah. Turn, turn your right, uh, left foot to me, turn your left shoulder to me. This is the only thing that matters. Okay, ready? Here we go, yes. Go on, good, distribution, drop in. Oh, we're saying, let them get there. Right, yep. Again, no, no, let him get there before you play. Ready, yeah. 
Oh, almost. Ready for the shot. Yep, yep, right. On the side. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, well done, Clay. Clay. Where are you going? Just go right there. Yeah, it's not finishing. That's the shot. Yeah. Great save, Steer. Great right, pass, CJ, come on. Good, lovely. Last round here. Yes. And again, and again. The ball never lies. I'm doing that on purpose. The ball never lies. Turn your left toe here. Why am I saying that? Yeah, all right. Now, if I play that ball through there behind the mannequin, it's easier for you to get there. Okay, ready? Here we go. Yeah. Good, back to me. We'll play me again. We'll play me again. Ready? Here we go. Yes, yes. Play. Yeah. Almost. Yes, CJ. Close that distance, Tanner. And hold, and hold. So, just relax, just breathe. All right, let's do this, please. Can I have two goalkeepers push that goal back? Two goalkeepers move this goal off. And let's move that goal back. So here's how the exercise works. Both of you are in the field the whole time. Okay, you only go out to get a ball and that's it. All right, so that's good, that's fine, that's fine. It's always three or four people going towards the goal. Okay, so the ball starts there, ball starts there. You're gonna take a touch in. So stay on the field, the 18 yard box is the field. Stay on, All right? So yeah, you've gotta be aware as well. She's coming in this direction. So it's a touch. You can play into the box there. If you play into them, you've got to at least pass it once. It's got to be one pass. Right, so ball in, one pass, shot, through ball, whatever. Okay, so after your pass in here to Nona, you could shoot, you can dribble, you can do whatever. Okay, when you make the save, distribution out there, and we go in the other direction. What I'd like from that goalkeeper, as we're coming this way, yeah, you're going to step up and play as well. Okay, so the game is always live, it should be fluid. Any questions? <laughs> no? What? Keep. Good touch, up, up, up! Good, Distribution, distribution. Yeah, nice and quick. Yep. Second ball, yes. Yeah. Oh, he's on there. Oh, good, oh, no, no. And just hold, just hold. So as he takes his touch out there, if you stay in advanced, the distance between the other back goes to the six eight is a different story. Alright? But I think as that ball goes there onto his left foot, now you've got to be more concerned about the space between you. Go ahead and play, yeah. Why, why? Good, yeah, step up. Save, no, see it. Up. Almost, yeah. Go, 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 go. And hold, and hold. Two goalkeepers, go out wide. If you're out wide, come in the middle. If you're in the middle, go to a goal. Buddy, starting here, yes, here we go. Pass here, pass here. Yeah, play. Yeah. Yes, find me. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Wait. Good. Okay. Oh, you got it. Box. Oh. Finish. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Nice. Well done. Yep. Yeah. I got back here. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're already close enough to apply more pressure there. If, well, sorry, 
When would you not apply pressure? What kind of touch? So. Negative touch. If I take my touch here, are you going to step forward? If I, if I put her in there, are you going to step oh, up? No, yeah, I'm going to step yeah. forward. What if I put the ball back there? If it comes back to my right foot just to get underneath it and pop it over you so if the touch is forward yes you should you should stay forward and even steal more space if his touch comes backwards and she has to do this if you come forward it opens up the space behind you and good players at your level can do that okay so then you drop off a little bit okay ready let's go that side <laughs> good good yes just yeah ball here yeah here it is! Yes! Wait! Good touch with the toe! Yes! Oh, what a ball! Yeah, rebound! Oh, good, and hold. Switch keepers, great save. So what I mean by that, I want one of you in this triangle, and I want one of you in this triangle here. Alright? You can go to either goal now. Right, so the service can go, can be played in. We'll take a touch and play it in. You can go to either goal. So if you play it in there to Nona, Nona, you could take a touch back in and shoot. Or you can lay it off and he shoots, or you can turn and go to goal. So it's live everywhere. Both goalkeepers respond all the time. Ready? Starting over there. Yeah. Yeah, ball here. Yes, yeah. Good, yep. Oh my god. Hold on a second. As you get there, as you decelerate, here's what I saw. Okay, make sure that you're in here so you can respond. Okay, yep. Ready? Yep. Yes. Why not shake? Cross. Yes. Oh. Yes. Good. Other side. Other side. Find that shape. Find that shape. Yes. We're here. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. Play. Almost. Yes. Good play. Well done. Yes. Yeah. We're here. shoulders all right so in here when that ball is driven across we do this as goalkeepers we do this far too quickly and now I'm coming across here and I'm spreading or they've tapped it in the back post so stay here because now it might be here here and go in there or it might be here and go in here right, but I think you've got the capability to get into his feet now. yeah Let's go again, Jace. Up, up, oh, see it. Shooky. Yeah, ball here. Ball here. Yes. Yep. Here we go. Decision making. Okay, ready. Here we go. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Ball the other side. Yes. Play what you see. Good save. Yes. Yeah, distribution. Yep. And we're in. Good. And hold. And hold. Relax. So we're just talking about the environment, okay? And what we said 
what we said was, so they trained, they worked for an hour and 10 minutes, right? And how often do they train for an hour and 10 minutes as a goalkeeper? And the answer is very, very rarely, right? So unless you're doing a private session or something like that, typically training sessions are 45 minutes max as a goalkeeper, okay? Especially in the environments that these, these goalkeepers are in. What else? Talk to me about the environments, the different environments. What are your thoughts? So we had, we had the simple, we had the passing at the start, then we had the, the simple handling. Now with the simple handling, I typically would have gone much, much less. Okay, so you'd seen fewer shots uh, and fewer, fewer repetitions in each stage of that. But again, we're trying to paint a picture and take a look at different things and discuss different options for goalkeepers. Um, then we had the three goals out wide, three goals tighter, and then the two goals. So how did you feel throughout it? Um, I'm not used to having so much equipment around. I'm just like used to using one goal and then other things so you have distractions like mannequins or having multiple goals working it makes you uh, for it forces you to be more active uh, mentally and yeah. trying to always stay engaged it's, it's, it's sometimes it becomes too difficult to process but there's so much going on and that's that's as coaches where we have to be very careful right so in here you had, and again I told you I told them in the classroom and I told you my goal was to keep all six of you active for the whole time Okay, so that becomes physically challenging, it also becomes mentally challenging, like you're saying. Because you've now, now that shot comes in, it could come off the mannequin or it might not. So you've got to hold your shape and be patient. And all these other things come into play. So, coaches, be aware of how much you put out there. If I put anything else out here, it'd be way too much. Like you put a, a, a deflection device or something like that in front of a goal as well, it's information overload. Okay, the deflections are going to come off of this and off of their feet. What else? What are the thoughts? Like the little like, like side communication, like if there was like a little break, you'd come over say to one of us like a little, a little thing and then we could think about that like the whole rest of that little drill segment and try to work on it. So why, why wouldn't I yell and scream or yell from one side of the pitch to another? For you as goalkeepers, why wouldn't I do that as a goalkeeper coach? would distract me personally like if you're talking to her and telling her something that like maybe wouldn't apply it could apply to me but like I feel like you'd tell me if it did but like it could distract me from whatever we're doing over here okay what else maybe the goalkeeper doesn't even hear they may be in their own head or thinking something else yeah. I saw go ahead I was thinking that like as many goalkeeper coaches are former goalkeepers as well so they kind of understand that like you were saying composure is the greatest thing so there's composure from a person you look up to that you listen to and respect then I feel like they're composed and I can feel like I can be composed in the things I need to do. That, that's really insightful actually because we are, I've, I've recently had a, co a conversation about goalkeepers adopting the personality of the goalkeeper coach. So if you're too passive and too laid back as a goalkeeper, that's how you're co that's how you go as you as a coach, that's how your goalkeeper's gonna play. If you're yelling, screaming, barking, blah blah blah, and stamping around all the time, you can expect to see the same thing from your goalkeepers. So you've got to have that even keel, you've got to have that balance as what in what you do. We talked we talked inside about knowing the goalkeepers you're working with. Right? Some goalkeepers, male or female, you can be more demanding of. Some people you have to talk in a different manner. It's the same information, it's just given differently. Right? It's the same game, same size goal, same ball, everything else. I don't treat anyone any differently, but if I need to push you, I might push you a little bit differently than I push you. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter on gender or age or whatever else. I just, I just think that as goalkeeper coaches, we need to be able to adapt and know how to get the most out of these goalkeepers. Any other thoughts? A lot of the times when like, at least I used to get yell at, yelled at, a lot. Um, I'm more focused on the yell rather than the actual thing I'm doing. So I'm more worried about not getting yelled at. And so if I yell at you yeah. across the pitch, there are <coughs> 10 other players on the field that now know that I've berated the goalkeeper and their confidence in the goalkeeper can be affected by that. Okay, so as a head coach or as a, as a goalkeeper coach, we've got to be very careful about how we work in larger groups, right? Because now we've got six people, right? And peer, being, being amongst peers is really, really interesting and really difficult. So if I'm having a go at one goalkeeper, if you step in and bark at a goalkeeper, you could lose not only the goalkeeper, because as you said, and rightly so, you get focused on the yelling, not on any other information, but now everyone else says, oh, Phil's an ass. Okay, and you lose respect from everyone else. And so finding the balance in your coaching is, is critical.